welcome to a quick introduction to our virtual hydraulic test rig simulation. So it's a number of test rigs where you can experiment with hydraulic equipment. And the first thing to point out is that these are real simulations. When we adjust this, we adjust the pressure. When we adjust the setting, we adjust the spring rates. Uh, we calculate the area sizes and flow rates to give our performance. So it responds in the same way a uh, real valve would. We can change the back pressures and that shuts it off and you can see the pilot main stage opening and the pilot stage opens first for the main stage. So you can experiment with these, you can follow the different instructions on I think what to do. We've got a number of experiments and as I say the first thing you do is you can step through and go through each experiment or you can access it from the drop down list uh, and you can change masses, change cylinder dimensions, you can uh, change pressure and you can see the different settings within the system and change of valve. So it's a good way to experiment. You should spend quite a bit of time experimenting and understand what's happening and how these valves are working. Once you've finished you can click on there and you can email your results back to your course tutor. So just look at the next one. We've got a, a directional valve system. You can change the directional valves and drive the cylinder up and down and you can switch in different valves to uh, control it in different ways or again drop down to here. So we've got instructions here. We've also got a, an additional help file which steps through in finer detail and we've got sound. Click the sound on and it will talk to you and explain what you need to do. As I say, it guides you through the experiments, tells you what you should be learning and seeing. So we've also got a proportional valve system. It's quite nice. It covers some of the different variations you can get with these valves and we've also got an automatic sequence so it shows you how the valves move and if you click on the limit switches you can change uh, the limit switch conditions, the settings of each limit switch so you can change our characteristic and uh, you can change the load so you can see how the stop position and such like changes when you have different loads on your system uh, we've also got motor, so this is more to do with energy usage and power in, power out. But again, we've got a number of different valve configurations, so you can experiment with each one following the instructions again, or freelance and set your own circuits. We've got uh, a logic system, which again gives you some different circuits. Uh, operate, and you can see how these work. And you can actually uh, drag and build your own circuits if you want in this one quite crude compared to the uh, new simulation program we've got. Uh, hydraulic power unit. So here you can uh, run through and change your masses and all your settings. You've got combined uh, power loss calculations but we've also got in here some uh, contamination which is quite nice because it just explores what happens when the air comes in through the air breathers, the cylinder and the pumps and as you use it you get more and more uh, contamination back into the reservoir starting to build up and just shows how um, how contamination builds up over time but if you increase your offline filtration or any filtration you can uh, take all the contaminants out so it uh, clarifies an important subject and finally but not least is the counterbalance valve which are very complicated valves so we've got a lot of different settings here for different valves and uh, you can experiment and understand a bit more about how counterbalance valves work and how the different features and options you can get with them. So there is more information on the website. It's available as a download, uh, a phone app and embedded within the website uh, and there are more details on each individual one available in videos if you need. Okay.